impossible at this stage to assess the motives behind Trump's decision? Yes, we can guess at them. Uh, we don't know for certain, uh, as is often the case with uh, President Trump. It does seem to me that this decision is linked possibly to a couple of things. One is that uh, there has been this uh, attack uh, against American uh, service people, uh, and that has almost certainly uh, been a trigger for this decision. But also, uh, Mr. Trump is, uh, by his own uh, definition, a supreme negotiator. And it may well be that he wants to push the Taliban towards even greater concessions at this last hour. They, in turn, are pushing him for concessions. So we have a, if you like, some sort of a, 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 a conflict going on in terms of what uh, concessions can be drawn at the last minute. It's, inter sides. it's interesting that you're mentioning these more concessions because at this stage, well, um, it seems like the future of the peace talks are hanging in the balance. We've already had rather threatening, uh, alarming messages from the group. Well, of course, the future of peace talks is a constant uh, feature of peace talks with the Taliban. These have been going on in different formats for over a decade now, and they do culminate and often uh, come to some sort of a disastrous end. So I don't think this is unusual, um, and I think all sides uh, want to uh, to benefit from these talks, but none of the sides can afford to uh, leave these talks in a position where they go into them uh, or leave them weaker than they go into them. So we have a very complex system going on here with the three parties, the Americans who want to leave uh, and, and are desperate to, to do so, uh, the Taliban who want the Americans to leave uh, and are desperate for them to do so, uh, and the uh, government in Kabul, which um, is desperate not to be obliterated once the Americans leave, uh, because they know that they can just about hold off the Taliban with American help, but certainly won't be able to do so when the Americans leave. Um, you're saying the Afghans don't want the Americans to leave. Does this, at this stage, um, this decision complicate matters in this sort of catch-22 situation? Because essentially more instability does mean that uh, US forces are needed uh, to stay for a lengthier period of time. Well, the Taliban have been very clear about their strategy and their definition of victory for well over a decade, decade and a half. They've always defined victory for them as the departure of the American forces. Now, how that happens doesn't really matter. When the Americans leave, as far as the Taliban are concerned, they are victorious in this conflict. And so what they, their main, if you like, strength in this war is their patience, their ability to persist. And so even if these talks fail, um, they know that eventually the Americans will have to come back to, to some form of a deal in order to deliver on President Trump's promise that he will bring back the troops uh, from Afghanistan. So there are these very complicating factors uh, where time uh, and persistence is the strongest power rather than military capability.